Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor, give him praise. Just continue to do what God have called you to do. These are perilous times. We don't want to forget about the shootings. We don't want to forget about, well, the setups. Y'all know I'm back. The setups. Y'all can say what y'all want. Let me tell y'all something. Um... Me and my son-in-law, we was looking at a movie. And um, what is the name of that movie? I'm trying to make it home to my dog. It's um, on Netflix. And just bear with me for a minute. Because y'all know I don't bring up nothing without really something behind it. And at first, I was like, it, it kept looping over. That whatever this young man did, he was a black guy. The cop kept killing him. And he kept trying to change the, the dynamics of it, right? So... At first, I was like, I don't understand, because he kept looping around to the same scene. So the last scene, what he do is he explained to the cop, he say, this is what's going to happen. This person going to kiss over there. This one going to take a selfie over there. And he said, you're going to shoot me. So what happened is the cop took him home. This is so crazy. Ended up shooting him anyway. And it was like, at first, I didn't understand the dynamic. I said, okay, I understand what you're saying. That when a person has a, a mission, y'all ain't ready for me for real. When a person has an assignment, come on somebody, hallelujah. That thing got to play out. But hold on, that's to both extremes. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. So the title of this live is, if you don't intervene, if there's no intervention, there would not be intervention. Where am I going with this? I was wondering, I, that, and, and hold on, it's just a little clip. It's like maybe 26 minutes, but it definitely will touch you. White, black, it does not matter what color you are. Because no matter what he tried to do, the, di the, 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 parag the, the um, paradigm shift was just the same. He always got killed in the thing. And I was like, that's just what's happening here. It's crazy. I'm talking about even in a spiritual sense. I'm going here. All right. So a lot of people had asked me to address the three darkness of days. I'm going to tell y'all something, and, and I didn't want to interloop this video, but I guess it's going to be interlooped. Let me tell you something. When God uses something like that to happen, and I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but notice I took my time to address it. There will be one major prophet. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. Let me tell y'all something. Whenever God does something, God is not going to use five or six prophets to connect the dot. So none of that made sense to me, but I don't, I don't like, you know, really bashing people or whatever the case may be, because I understand that people miss it sometimes. I understand that, but I'm going to say it again. Y'all better listen to me when there is going to be a major event. And if you don't believe me, history repeats itself over and over again. God will use one major prophet so that way you can, everybody will know what's going on, the date, the time, the hour. God is not going to use this one in Ethiopia and this one in that was, that's just too much confusion. And my Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. Now, some of y'all, a lot of y'all ask me, what did I think? What did I think? That's what I think. I think it will happen. God did confirm it will happen, but he did not confirm a date or time or year. And when he choose that prophet that he's going to use to do it, and I promise you he will, one major prophet, then that when we all know. Everybody, nobody's not going to, you're not going to not know what God is doing in this season. As a matter of fact, let's just be real. You're not going to ever not know what God is doing in this season of your life. I don't care what the enemy tries to do. And that um, brings me to this video. So I was, I was praying and everything. And I said, God, why is there so much chaos? Why, you know, let's just be real. It seems like the body of Christ is in disarray. I said, what's going on here? And you know what God told me? He said, without intervention, there would not be intervention. And at first, it's kind of like, okay, I must go slow with y'all. Without intervention, there would not be intervention. He said, Deanna, my people are not praying the way they used to pray. He said, the enemy has got everybody attention. And, and I, I knew I had it right. I knew I had it right when I stopped being Chef Didi. I even pulled out the... Um, the 2021 year award in Orlando, you know, like competing with all the chefs all over the country. And a lot of people would say, well, that's your passion. Yeah, that's my passion, but that's not my purpose. Come on, somebody. Y'all catch this. Y'all don't see what the enemy is doing. The enemy is trying to get us more money. 
Oh, I'm just going to call it like it is. And I have a problem with preachers that, that just, that's all you worried about. So you ain't worried about people that's dying, losing their soul in them streets every day. You're not worrying about that. No, you just worrying about building your kingdom. But what about God's kingdom? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm coming back even more so for the kingdom of God. It, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. That's our mandate. Your mandate is not to be the world's greatest preacher. Done that. And it was only one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That will not be another. I don't care how many TD Jakes, uh, whatever, who y'all want to call. There'll never be another like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ever. Ever. So you know what that means? That means we're supposed to do just what he's supposed to be doing. And what he did, to the three years, he turned this world upside down. Jesus, let me tell you something. If you don't believe me, you can, you can um, actually, you know, um, well, uh, you would have to read your Bible. Every time Jesus did a miracle, he positioned himself. Every time they, they invited him something somewhere and they just wanted him to show off or something, you know what he did? He looked for the person that needed him the most. He was like, hmm. You know, you know how people, arrogant people, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, I just don't, not just that, that spirit, that arrogance, they always looking to be seen and heard and they're the best of the best stuff. They get on my nerves, I'm telling you right now, they make me itch. You can say what you want. Ain't nobody jealous. Of you, you just, you're doing too much. That's, that's not what the Bible says. He says, I came to save that which was lost. And truth be told, people are lost right here on Facebook. Mm -hmm. People are lost right in the church. Mm -hmm. People are lost right in their homes. Y'all don't know how many people email me. And I wish to God I had a whole team so I could email y'all back. I tried. There's just too, there's too many. There's just, and I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. It's just too many to answer. So I, I try to remember the questions and I answer you corporately this way. But I'm telling y'all what well, we got to get back doing. We got to get back to God's business. Somehow we lost our way. I don't care what nobody say. We lost our way. And I'm going to tell you, you see, God's, God's strategic. You know what he did? He showed, he showed us with the pandemic. He literally stopped time. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. We're giving them people too much glory. I don't care what about that pandemic. You heard what I said. God stopped time to show us us. To show us, you say you love me? Let me, let me allow them to do what they do and show you you. The church, i.e. People, so many closing their church doors. Oh, I'm about to say something. I didn't know I was going to say it, but I'm about to say it. I don't know this brother's name, and I don't even know how he came in my timeline, but he says something, and he was actually talking about a specific preacher, but I'm not even going to bring that preacher name because that's going to start a whole other thing, but I'm going to tell you what he said. He said something that was very, very powerful, and he, he's unknown, but he, it was powerful. He said, you know, preachers, it's okay to take a rest. He said, you don't have to be, he said, because what I'm seeing is everybody's competing. Am I lying? Everybody want to be the best preacher, the best teacher, the deepest, the holiest. The, uh, get the heck up out of here. Can we just learn to be saved? Can we just learn to preach and teach just the word of God? Because let me tell y'all something. First of all, I want to ask y'all forgiveness. So much has been going on. I promise you when I push these last books out, that's it. I'm not writing no more books. I'm not, y'all can say, try me. I'm not writing no more books because I realized something. I'm not saying books are not good. I'm not saying wisdom is not good. But I'm telling y'all, I'm starting to see this thing. I'm telling you. I know this is going to sound weird, but within my dad dying, it's like I'm living even more so for God. I, I don't understand that whole thing yet because we're human, right? But we're doing too much. I keep hearing God say, go back to basics. Just keep it simple. Just love me. We didn't made it to where people don't want to come to church, not even online. I'm going to be real with you because now it's all about a dollar, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. You know, <sighs> my God, my God, my God. I hope y'all understand I'm not just up here babbling, my God. When I was, I'm going to say down, it's like I got closer to God. 
And what really happened is I wasn't in control no more. Come on, somebody. I wasn't in control no more. Not that I ever was. You see, because the enemy will make you think that you're in control. I mean, these things happen. What could, what, what could I do? But cry. But say, God, strengthen me. God, keep me. God, I'm hurting. God, I don't understand. Back to back to back. Okay, I get it. Trust me, Deanna. Trust me when you can't trace me. Trust me when, when you can't feel me. Trust me when they're not applauding. Tr tr trust me when they're not talking. Trust me when they're not reaching out. Oh, I just said it. Y'all, and I don't, I'm not saying everybody. Y'all putting so much pressures on preachers these days that they feel like they got to perform. I have never been one that felt the need to perform for anybody. Because I can't do that. Because then that's not real. People of God, if, you're, if you really follow me as I follow Christ, please get closer to God. Stop tripping. I'm not saying God don't want you happy. I'm not saying God don't want you successful. But what I am saying, God wants you saved most than anything. The way my life just got upside down. Phew, honestly, honestly, if I could be real, which I am going to, it almost felt like I was next. I said, God, okay. I said, well, okay. Your will. He said, no, you got some work to do. You got some work to do. But I just allowed because what I was doing is I was getting you closer to me. Through everything, I was getting you closer to me. I was letting you know that you're not exempt. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I think preachers and teachers, they'll try to preach that we're exempt from problems. <laughs> exempt from worries. Exempt from life. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That's when you know you need God the most. God, I need you. I can't do this without you. How could I ever thought I could? I think I could. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. So, if there's no intervention, that means we're not intervening. Go back to your night watches. Go back to your prayer closets. Stop. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this world is slick. This world is real slick. Oh, I, I see how they do things. Anything to pull you from God. Anything to pull you from what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, I call it OPP. Other people purposes. Other people problems. Other people perceptions. And God didn't tell you that. And, and sometimes you get caught up. Because I'm going to be honest with you. You know, some of the family, after they were trying to catch me up in, in some of this. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We cool. But that's not my purpose. That might be your purpose, but that's not my purpose. So you have to be very careful in this hour. God, keep me, keep me with my purpose. Because remember, I keep, I've been telling y'all for months. I feel like my pain and my purpose collided. And they did. They did. They did. And all it did was make me more humble. Yes, it did. Make me more humble. Hallelujah. Because God is still good. But I'm going to get up out of here. But basically what I'm saying is, I challenge every last one of you, even the ones that are going to listen to this. I dare you to get closer to God like you ain't. It ain't got nothing to do with me, really. You don't know when that day coming. And I just want to know, do you know that you're really going to heaven? And this ain't no game, because everybody think this is a game. This ain't no game. God is calling his people home. And I told y'all this about two, three years ago. God is, listen to me. A lot of people are not going to be able to take what's getting ready to come. So God is calling his people home in droves. And I'm not kidding. All you got to do is, not just with me, open your eyes. Open your eyes. So your position should be God every day. God, am I doing what you told me to do? Not what I think to do. Not what the world is telling me. Not what I see everybody else doing. Because you, 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 you got a lot of people that just watch other people and they do stuff. Don't be that person. Be intentional of where God has you and what he wants in your life. Hallelujah. Don't be worrying about everybody. Don't get caught up in that. And I'm seeing so many people, preachers, teachers, everybody, just getting caught up in that. Honey, 
At the end of the day, you just want to be saved. At the end of the day, you want to be in that line of judgment. Hallelujah. And, and let me tell you this. I'm going to reiterate this because I don't know if people understand this. Judgment means it's done. Right now is where you plead your case before God. God, am I worthy? You are not going to get in judgment and say nothing, honey. Because that's going to be done. That, that's going to be God's time. Tell you, wait a minute, this, this is what you did. This is what you didn't do. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Oh, Lord. And I missed y'all. I missed y'all. I missed getting up on here. But I had to wait on God to release me. You know, it was hard. It was very hard because, again, you know, you see other people preaching and teaching. And they ain't going to never leave me until the day I die. I promise you that. However, I'm learning more so. The timing of God is everything. You know, we, we didn't got to this world. I'm trying to tell you, but it didn't happen. That's why he slowed, he slowed down time to let you know he is time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the enemy, he tries to lie. He tries to imitate God. He, he tries to act like he is above time or he's, no, no, no. He can do nothing but by God. Hallelujah. But by God. I'm telling you what time it is. So God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you understand everything that I just got through saying. Get close to God. Evaluate your life. Do what it takes to get close to God. Excite anybody that don't want you to get close to God. And I got something to say. Hold on. I got something. One last thing to say. Thank you, God. Stay away from people that break your spirit. That one, I'm really, I don't care who you are. Friend, family member, whatever. You're not going to keep breaking my spirit. You must be out your mind. Ah, we already got to make it to heaven, right? Y'all are letting people do too much to you. Because they think they all that. And you don't know who you are. I said it. Know who you are. Love who you are. Respect who you are. And if people don't respect you, they can get to stepping. <laughs> Martin was serious. It's quit letting people break your spirit. Quit letting people make you think that you don't measure up to who they want you to be. Oh, I'm going somewhere with this one. Y'all know it's true. Because then you'll find yourself out of the will of God, trying to please people that really don't like you from the gate. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me. Y'all know what time it is for real. Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100. And you can tell when people like you, and you can tell when people love you. Because I know I can. You'll feel it. If it's real, you'll feel it. And if it's not real... Just ease on, take your little finger, I like you in church, and just ease on out their life. And, and, and hold on, you ain't got to be ugly to people, you ain't got to treat people ugly, you ain't got to act ugly. Y'all ain't got to do all that. You don't have to act worldly. Just ease on down the road out their life. But stop letting people break your spirit. That's one thing God wanted me to tell y'all. Oh, that's another thing. I want to, I didn't want to shock y'all with what's happening. And, I, you know, just to let y'all know, so when it happened, y'all be like, what happened? Throughout all this, one thing did happen that I was very disappointed about. I mean, like, and I guess they say it comes with the territory. I'm probably going to have to cut my hair short again. It, it just, I was so disappointed. I said, Lord, no, my hair just got long. I don't know if it was between, just to keep it honest with you, the stress. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to have to do a major cut again. Just let y'all know I didn't want to woo y'all. Like, what happened here? Life happened. So I'm probably going to do that Wednesday or Thursday. But uh, I have no choice. And I, I was disappointed. But I was like, well, it's only hair, right? Yep. So God bless you. I love you guys. Y'all know what time it is. I like Kimberly. Kimberly Preston says, silence is golden. That's real. Sometimes. 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 Because sometimes we don't open our mouth too much. And you don't tell people the truth. And you just let people just do what they want to do. So I don't think silence is just golden. What I do think, it's a balance. That's what I'm learning more in life. Everything's a balance. You drink too much water, you can, you can die, believe it or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everything is balance. So, y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Let's walk like it. Let's talk like it. Let's act like it. And for God's sake, let it really be like it. You know how we got them little things? What would Jesus do? Can we really live that for real? 
and it don't be just a cliche. <laughs> All right. God bless. Have a good one, y'all.